Good afternoon, YouTube. It is your guy, Rookie No Jutsu, back with another manga video. And today we're gonna be doing manga recommendations. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while, actually, just to recommend for people who are just now getting into manga or are kind of like on a plateau where they don't know what to read or the manga that I like is being too slept on and I feel like it should be spoken up about. So I'm just gonna be showing y'all about 10 series that I enjoy, that I think that y'all would like. Um, I kind of made sure I picked different genres and stuff. It's mostly shonen, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like these series are either good, slept on, or new. Yeah, or new. Starting off with number one, we got Demon Slayer. Um, pretty much every single person who has watched the anime or read a manga knows what Demon Slayer is. It's probably like one of the most popular series as of late. The reason why I recommend this series is because it just recently finished up. It has a box set and it's pretty accessible. It's not really out of stock anymore. Um, so if you haven't had the chance to read it yet, I would just shoot for it now because when I first got it, it was pretty hard to find to be honest because people were snatching up the box sets really quick. And um, it had a lot of hype around it. It still has hype around it, but mostly for the anime. The manga doesn't have as much hype about it because it's already done. But the anime itself has a lot of hype just because of, I want to say there's a movie coming out sooner than later, I'm not sure. Um, or either that or it's already come out. I don't really watch much anime anymore because I read the mangas instead. Um, but yeah, number one's got to be Demon Slayer. At number two, we got Comey Can't Communicate. Comey Can't Communicate kind of has a special place in my heart just because I don't know what it is about it, but I like it a whole lot. It's, it doesn't take much brain power to read, you know what I'm saying? It's not really difficult. There's no like conflicts going on. Like there's there's slight problems that they have that they gotta figure out or they have like issues that they gotta figure out, but it's, not, it's nothing drastic, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing crazy really happens, at least as far as I know. I, I'm only in the first volume right now. At number three, we got Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, y'all know how I feel about Chainsaw Man. This series is probably top 10, not gonna lie. They have an anime coming out pretty soon, so that's cool. I might watch that to be honest. I don't really watch much anime anymore, but Chainsaw Man, I'll make an exception because the story is heat. Fights, heat. Characters, heat. I'm like, there's not really much to dislike about Chainsaw Man in my opinion. I don't have a single complaint. My only complaint about Chainsaw Man is that part two hasn't come out yet. And that's because I want more of it. So it's not even really a complaint, you know what I mean? At spot number four, we also have another one of my personal favorites. That is Zom 100 Bucket List of the Dead. Um, this series is also a newer series. It's only six volumes in as far as I have checked. And it is a seinen comedy manga about a zombie apocalypse. Um, and the main character basically has worked a job where he has been a zombie. He, he goes to work, he clocks in, he clocks out, and he goes home, and then he goes to sleep. That's all he does. And so he feels like a zombie for pretty much the majority of his adult life. All of a sudden, the zombie apocalypse hits. Boom. Now, all of a sudden, everyone around him is a zombie. His boss, his co-workers, no, zombies. And now he is free. So it's kind of like a irony situation going on. But um, it's funny, it has some pretty good action. And um, it has some heartfelt moments in there. It has some scary moments. So all around, it's not really a certain genre that I can pin it on, but it's a pretty good read, pretty fast. Um, the volumes aren't too thick, but enough to make the money worth it, in my opinion. And um, I feel like it's really easy to get into. So definitely, I definitely do recommend Zone 100, it's pretty fire. And in spot number five, bro, I don't hear a single person talk about this manga. I don't know why. I don't know if something happens further on in the series because I haven't read it in a good while. I don't know if the ending is bad or something like that, but I don't hear anybody talk about this manga and I don't know why. Because personally, I've liked it so far. And that is No Gun Life. No Gun Life is like a cyberpunk noir type 
situation where it's like it takes place in the future and it has like vast technology and all this stuff but it's also mafia mob bosses stuff like that but it's in the future that's what finds that's what i find so interesting about it and our main character he has a gun for a head i don't know if you can see that or not but his head is a six shot revolver and he's a detective but not a regular detective he's a detective for hire so he does a little bit of dirty work you know what i'm saying um i don't hear anybody really talk about it and i'm not sure if it's just slept on or if it doesn't end well or something but personally i like it and i recommend no gun life to anybody who's just looking for something different because it's not very how do i say it it's not very orthodox that's what it is it's not very orthodox at all in spot number six we have a series that's actually really sad and i recommend it but i don't recommend it if you have like ptsd from any kind of traumas or anything like that just because this series is pretty sad um i like it but from it's from the lessons that you learn from it it's not really about the story like it's about the, it's about the story itself but it's not fun to read because it's sad you know what i mean um you get a good life lesson from it if you can handle it you should read it because it changes your perspective on a lot of things and that series is a silent voice um this series is only seven volumes it has a box set I mean, it's not hard to find anymore at all there's a movie it, it's really accessible for really you can you can find it anywhere to be honest i really recommend it for anybody who is okay with stuff like this um it's pretty sensitive um it's about two main characters and there is this girl that is deaf and there is a guy who is just like a regular kid and he's like he, he he's bad you know he has he he's like throws rocks at moving cars and like jumps off of bridges into the water and stuff like that he's like he's a kid who like he has bad behavior but he's not a bad kid he's kind of just showing out for his friends to think of him as a cool guy you know what i mean and he ends up bullying this girl like a lot and it gets like it gets bad and then time passes and they're adults and they cross paths again and that's where everything kind of starts off and in spot number seven is a series that i feel like is a little slept on just a little bit it's only three volumes in a volume has been coming out i want to say like every every three or four or so months like it's it's very slow paced on the releases and it is by the same mangaka as um doro hidoro which is like a big fan favorite for people i i love the anime i haven't read it just because i wasn't i can't find volume one i don't know why i think i've come past volume one couple of times but i never have grabbed it up and i regret it every time but i was able to get a series that's super similar and that is die dark this is i wouldn't i wouldn't really call it a spinoff it's definitely in the same universe if i'm not mistaken it is basically doro hidoro in space that's the best description i can give because of how crazy doro hidoro is and in spot number eight we've got another zombie manga it is a seinen it has funny moments but it, it's mostly geared towards seinen, and it's got some gore, because, you know, zombies. Um, and that series is I Am a Hero. Now, this series is actually really good, especially for me, I feel like, because it's about a guy who has dealt with low self-esteem issues. Sound familiar? And it's about, I like zombies, so that, that, that's what grabbed me at first. But as I read, I realized that our main character here actually goes through a lot. And throughout the zombie apocalypse, he kind of goes from like a, you know, he gets bullied at work. He's not really seen as like a, a threat or anything. And then throughout the zombie apocalypse, he gets like faster, stronger. He starts thinking on his toes. He's able to escape certain situations. Um, he's like, he, he's kind of growing up, even though he's already a grown man. He's kind of like coming into himself as like a survivor. And um, he meets people along the way. He loses people along the way. 
and it's, it's just it's a really interesting series but if i would say if you, if you walk past volume one and you're just looking for something new i would definitely try out i am a hero and spot number nine this is also another omnibus series this one's a little bit more in stock than the last one and um that series is blue giant good series to be honest i want to say we're we're 10 volumes in and there's five of the two in ones this series is about a young man who he's like he's in school you know he plays basketball and he has a love for jazz music and music in general and this is kind of like a boys meets world story how it's like just a you know a group of dudes trying to figure out what's going on with life and how to maneuver through it and everything while at the same time learning their love for music and if they want to take it seriously or not and in spot number 10 i have another shonen manga that i want to recommend to you guys and that is undead unluck this series is also probably one of my favorites that are recent we're about seven volumes in i want to say i actually don't have number seven i need to go grab that because i saw it didn't get it because i you know didn't have the money for that at the moment. Definitely gonna scoop up number seven whenever I get the chance. I have one through six right now though, so I'm not in a huge hurry. This is a series about our guy, Andy here, and he cannot die. And I forgot how to pronounce her name, I forgot. But she has really bad luck, which is, you know, undead, unluck. And what I like about this series is that, like their their power scaling is all based off the, the un. So like, for example, undead, that means he can't die, unluck she has no luck then there's people who are like i think there's there's one dude he's like he's a ex-boxer and his name is like unweavable or something like that i swear his name is like unavoidable or unweavable or something like that it's like whenever he throws a punch at you like your body paralyzes and he just dink 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 and there's so many different powers that they have and like the characters are interesting because each character has their own power and when you figure out what they do you got to think of okay so how are our main characters going to counter that with their powers so it's a really good fighting fast paced action manga um i definitely recommend it for people who just want to read something that's like don't gotta think too hard we, we see the premise we see the idea i just want to enjoy it type of thing but yeah guys that is actually all the manga that i have today to recommend for now at least um i'm definitely gonna do a couple of more of these in the future the more that i read the more that i collect so if you want to see that more often let me know if you have any ideas that you want me to do video wise let me know i might have some things in the works for y'all to enjoy and the channel's been growing pretty rapidly so i want to say i appreciate that it's pretty cool uh we're growing we're almost at 500 and then we'll hit a thousand and then who knows might be at a million one day maybe i'll be opening up the little gold play button and all that stuff so <sighs> one day one day for sure um but i'm gonna go film some more videos actually so um i will see you guys in the next episode please stay safe out there there's been some, a lot of crazy stuff going on in today's world so i do want to ask y'all please be safe out there please be careful be aware of your surroundings yeah just just be safe out there guys i really want to wanted to touch on that subject because I, I didn't want to pretend like all this crazy stuff hasn't been happening if y'all know what i'm talking about um but yeah whenever you're out and about at the store or anywhere really just please be safe please be careful and other than that i just want to say i love you guys if you want to join the intergalactic manga club you're more than welcome to all you gotta do is like subscribe and turn on the post notifications and you are in the club that's about it i love y'all i'll see you later and peace